Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Zoo Quest. So I am standing here in front of Humphrey right now because I thought we would take a small break from the visitor center where we really need to put up lights. So <laughs> the trip to the nether is gonna be necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to the nether, guys. <laughs> I thought we would switch gears and we would move over to Humphrey and start working on his much needed bigger stable and hopefully an outdoor area where the camels can be free when they're not being used for rides or feeding in the stable. So let's get started on that. Hello, Humphrey. This is a catastrophe of a stable. It is too small. You need at least one wider, I think. I think if it was three or four by four, what is this? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four by four, I think you would be really happy. So what we'll do instead, Hippo, you still enjoying your mud bath? Good, I'm glad that you're safe there enjoying your mud bath. <laughs> we are gonna pop Humphrey over here. Boop. Come here, buddy. I have a lead for you right here. Plus that these gates are just not functioning correctly with the three. So this will be much better. Okay. That was really odd. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here. All right. We're just going to put you right there. Oh. Honey. He went to it like he knew. Okay, he must be set to something. Let's see. Come here, buddy. What are you set to right now? Stay. Stay right there. Okay, my brave little Humphrey. And then I will bring you your food. You will have food. Don't worry. I'm coming right now with it. Ooh. Gotta be quick, though. Plop. There we go. All right, now we're gonna sleep and we're gonna tear down that horribly small stable stall and figure out where we actually want this to be. I might actually end up putting it up there. To be honest, I want plenty of room for our, uh, our fountain that we're gonna do, which is gonna come out and be right in the center here. So we may need to actually back this up, up there and have a hill that goes up to it. Could be pretty. It would also allow uh, possibly for some like zero scaping. Is that what it's called? Zero, zero scaping, um, which allows us to do some of the desert plant uh, arrangements might look nice around the buildings and such. Okay, so I think to do this the right way, our opening could be by five and this would be the center, and that way the stable would be perfectly in the center of where the canal is. Hup, 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 hup. Oh good, and we could completely cover this and save this poor, poor pygmy hippopotamus who is really injured. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, rescue mission first. Here we go. Let me put where the marker is. There's the marker. Okay. All right, buddy. I'm, I'm going to help. I'm going to help you, okay? Just hang tight. Hang tight. Okay, come on, little buddy. I know this is rough, but I'm trying for you, okay? Let me see. I kind of wanted to make him mad. Maybe he'd come out and attack me. I don't want him to attack me while he's in there, though. Come on, little one. You got this. Come on. Come on, you can do it. It's just a little bit. It's just a little bit. Oh, you're so close. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe if I get him kind of surrounded. Okay, he's kind of stuck in those two blocks right now. Oh, we're gonna need more sandstone. Come on, little guy, you can do it. Can I push you out, maybe? Do I have any sand? Okay, it's all right. Rescue mission, must do. All right, we're back with the hippo. Okay, 
who's really, really struggling. I'm trying to figure out if I can push him out or not. I'm just gonna cover up the rest of this while I can. Um, oh, we need to save this though. Okay, hold on. Well, actually we really don't because I can just turn sand into sandstone. <laughs> okay, buddy. Can I push you? I don't wanna fall in there with you though. Um, oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. You're okay. No, 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 Don't go down there. Don't go down there. Can you get out? Come on. Come on. You're so close. You're so close. Okay. Oh, good. This is helping. This is helping. Uh. That's not helping. That's not helping. Maybe it's helping? Oh gosh, panic, panic. Don't drown. Don't drown, little buddy. You got this. Okay, we did that. Please don't hurt me. Okay, this is good. This is good. So he's still kind of stuck there. I'm trying to help you, little guy. I know it may not seem like it, but I really am. Okay, we're getting that there. If I could just... <sighs> Come on, little buddy. You can do it. I mean, he's super mad at me. Like, I can tell. He's trying to follow me like, hey, you're way too close in my space. We got that. We just need to get him out. Wait, don't I have a bucket? Hold on. Hold on. I can fix this. <gasps> there we go! And now he's mad! He's so mad. You're free! You are really, 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 really unhealthy, though. And I don't have any healy stuff right now. So, what we're gonna do... Do we have any empty nets? Oh no, we don't have any empty nets. This is not good. Okay, you know what? That's okay. We can go put some of the meerkats away. Okay, stay there, buddy. Don't run into any cactus. Hi there, little meerkat. I hope you get along with bunnies. Please tell me you don't kill bunnies because that's going to be really awkward if you do. Hi. Oh, this one is asleep. Okay, they do dig, but I don't think they can dig out of here. Thank goodness. Okay. I think I have a couple more. Snake, kangaroo, gila monster, gila monster hamster. Okay, and then these are also meerkats. All right, this is not the meerkat habitat, by the way, y'all. Absolutely not. I'm just putting them here to empty out some of our stuff. Oh, look at them! And they dig. So none of them are tamed yet. Hopefully they don't despawn or get themselves hurt in here. Don't you dare leave. I see you trying to be all sneaky and cute. You cannot leave. Stay put. Okay, there's our pygmy hippo. I'm sincerely worried about it because it's got three hearts out of that many, so. Okay, got it tranquilized and we captured it, perfect. Like I said, I don't advise capturing the animals since we don't really have a place for them just yet, but that being said, it was so injured, I was concerned if it ran into a cactus a couple more times, it wouldn't have lived much longer, which is a sad, sad thought, and I didn't want that for our, our sweet little hippo that we could get a safe place for. Okay, now that we've done that, <laughs> we're going to hop down for another nap. Oh, and I need to find some food. I am very hungry. Very, very hungry. Humphrey, it is breakfast. I... 
since we have conveniently planted these here, I'm going to have myself some papaya. Delicious. It doesn't fill me up very much, but hey, it's a papaya. I can't complain too hard. Yummy. Okay, let's try this. Oh wow, that's way too tall. <laughs> I'm still so hungry. My little body's like, please feed me. Can we share food, Humphrey? Can I have some watermelon? Thanks, bub. It won't fill me up very much, but I really appreciate it. I wish watermelon would hydrate me too. All right, so now that we have fixed the sand, the quicksand problem and saved that little hippo, we are gonna get to work on at least building the area where we'll sell tickets for camel rides. So this is the center. We're gonna make the opening um, a five opening. So two on each side. Perfect. I love to see it. Should we back it up though? I feel like we should potentially back it up. I mean, we'll have a path that comes up here, but it wouldn't hurt to back it up just a little bit actually. Okay, in that case, we may back it up quite a bit. There. All right. Center, one, two. And I have sand, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Boop. And there's our opening. Nice. All right, so now that we have done that, we're gonna do like so on each side, I think. I'm having to reference my picture a lot. Okay, yes, one, two, three. Yes, one, two, three, that's included. So this will be a door. Yep. And then the back will go all the way across, for which I am concerned we are about to run out. Eee! One, two, three, two, whoop, three. And this will also go all the way across. Ooh, are we gonna have just enough? Yes, okay. So this is the ticket building right here. Absolutely perfect. This is what we wanna see. So, now that we have done that, um, yeah, let's start building up. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. Get rid of this. We'll go ahead and lay this down that we were prepared. And then, I know for a fact I used these and these. So these would go all the way around. Like so. And then I would do this number here. And we'd have a thing in between. And then, boop. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. And we're gonna need more of those like uh, straw looking fences. And then, I oh, I will need my architecture craft thing. Okay. Good to know, good to know. I'm just gonna repeat this on this other side. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Whew. Oh my gosh, that was horrifying. I thought I was going to die. I saved myself, thank goodness. What are we gonna do with this? Can you even do anything with this? You can bottle quicksand. No, thank you. Can you drink it? No. <laughs> I mean, it would be cool to keep for an exhibit and we could talk about how dangerous quicksand is and people could see what quicksand looks like. That would actually be pretty neat. We could even do that over there in one of the two smaller exhibits or even on the side in that other little exhibit talking about quicksand. Ooh, that's a really good idea. Way to make things work. <laughs> okay. And then I believe I take mosaic all the way across. Nice. We might do a cool design right there. I think that would be really neat and make it look like a clock even. 
Ooh, that would be cool. For now, I'm just gonna leave it like this though. Next, we use more of the circular, like so. Mm. Okay, I see what I did. I see what I did. All right, so it looks like I had it one more back than I thought, which is totally fine. Not a big deal. So it will actually be like this instead. Much better. Much better. All right. So then we add this here. Perfect. And then I believe I came across this way. Yep. That is exactly what I did. Very cool. And then see when we get back up here. We have this here and then these on each side. So it ends up looking like this. And then those are gonna be windows, which will be super nice. Everything's gonna match super well. I say super a lot. I wonder why that is. <laughs> Oh, it's almost nap time. Okay, I'm just gonna duplicate on this side. All right, so here is this side done. And then for the final side, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna have a door back here because I think we might end up having a way to get to the back of the stables, but I do think that the pasture for the camels is gonna be in that open area right there. We'll completely cover that up because we don't want that at all. I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't do a little bit of a different design on this side than what I had originally. Like I, I'm looking at a picture on my phone down here of what I did design, but I'm thinking of doing something just a little bit different. More similar to what we already did, if that makes sense. Yeah. Ooh, I kind of like that. Nice. Oh, that looks so good. I wish I had grabbed the glass so that we could do glass. And as far as the doors go, I'm not really sure what I want that door to look like. This one's just going to be wide open. And then as for the stables, I think I want them to be... like connected but not if that makes sense yeah oh you need a thing okay let me drink some water real quick and then we will work on the stable part all right i think for the stable part we're actually going to keep it kind of simple um where we do the connected so we decided is four long enough one two three four Technically, it's going to be five, but four for the front part. And then like this. Okay. Nice. I do think it wouldn't hurt to do a fun little mosaic right here just to keep the theme going. Ooh, yes. That looks extremely clean, extremely clean. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this sandstone into this, perfect. That way we don't technically run out. Nice. Um. Yes, four was the magic number, correct? Okay, now here's the here's the deal. This looks really good right here, but it doesn't look as good from in here. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it kind of bothers me. Whereas like that looks a lot better. But now that looks dumb. <laughs> what if we did three? Oh, 
Oh, now that looks really cool. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, continue. So here's the thing about the camels. They are super, super tall. So we're going to need Humphrey for this part. So if we do a gate here, I actually like the birch gate. I think it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I don't think that looks too bad at all to do the birch gate. Is this gonna be enough space for Mr. Humphrey? We are about to find out. Okay, Humphrey, I need you to test out your new home, especially to help out your other wonderful fellow camels when we get them eventually. All right, bud. And here we go. Okay. Wow, that actually is a really good amount of space for Humphrey there. Let's pop down for a nap. We'll take another look in the morning. I'm really worried about the height is the big concern for me. I wanna make sure it's high enough. His ears really do touch the ceiling. So I think for Humphrey, we might have a little bit more of, well, wait, wait a second. I just realized something kind of important. Technically he is one higher than he should be. I just realized. Boop. Okay, so actually, if we bring him down one, if we bring him down one, then it will be the perfect height for Humphrey and the other camels. We just need more red sandstone at some point. I see you, buddy. He's all excited. He's like, what's happening? Okay. There we go. Stay there. Okay. That's fine. We can go get him. We can go get him. I have no idea where he's going. Oh, I told him to stay over there. So he's probably going over there to stay. <laughs> Humphrey! What are you doing? You dork. Don't you get hurt too much. Goodness, goodness, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I'm so thirsty. I'm gonna need water soon. Oh, see, so when you tell him to stay in a certain area, it turns out that that is his place that he's supposed to stay. So let's pull our book out. Book. Here, buddy. Follow. Now will he follow? He does. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I can just tell him to come here and he's following us just fine. Oh, and he teleports. Come here, bud. Watch out for the cactus. Watch out for the cactus. Come here. And here you go. Good boy. No, 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 no. You had it. You had it. You had it. You did it. Come on. Perfect. Okay. Ow! <gasps> I don't understand. It said he fell from a high place. No, that was a bug. That doesn't count. See? Humphrey is perfectly fine. Absolutely fine. No need to worry about sweet Humphrey. Right, Humphrey? You're totally, totally fine okay now that that's taken care of <laughs> we can perfectly see here that that is plenty of space for humphrey he won't hit his head we won't hit our head when we are dismounting we should be able to put the ceiling up without it bothering him at all which is grand so let's go ahead and finish this up and then we'll work on getting his food in there Ugh, when you're desperate for poop water. Ugh, gross. Ooh, you know what? We should take this out and put these here instead. 
nice. I really like that. And then I probably should make sure that's not going to hit his head. Come here, Humphrey. Ow. Ow. Okay, so we hit our head. Good to know. Uh, Ow. I don't like that. Um, so in that case, we may leave this completely open. Because I don't want to hit our head. <laughs> maybe we should close. Hmm, maybe this should be higher, actually, knowing that. It may need to be one higher. Okay, let's uh, let's figure that out then. There we go. Now it is one taller for our sweet little camel boy. -o. And I think what we will do is we will now set this to come across right here. Like so. Nice. Oop. It's getting to be too tall for me. And there we go. And then we'll actually put a roof on top. That way uh, Humphrey will have some shade against the heat of the desert sun. And we will fill out the rest of the red sandstone right there. We are just out right now. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the food. So Humphrey's really, really tall. Like really tall. So I'm thinking, whoop, my mouse just decided to go boop. I think what we might do is put like a little, almost like a table here, but not quite, like a ledge. And then we'll put Humphrey's food up on that ledge. Let's see. What if we just did sandstone? Like this, and then here's the food barrel. like so. That's pretty cool. And then we could put the water on top of it. Because that's like mouth level. That's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go make a cauldron and I'll be right back. Uh, well, the cauldron's not gonna work because Humphrey is going to simply escape. <laughs> we cannot put the cauldron there. Oh dear. Okay, luckily we didn't hit our head though. Let's go ahead and get that out of here. Perfect. Okay. Mmm. Humphrey, I can't have you escaping, bud. Like, that's not gonna do at all. <laughs> so I've decided that I like the double fence, and I do think that in some ways that will help keep uh, Humphrey from getting out, even if he jumps on the cauldron. Hopefully he won't. I am gonna see if Slate doesn't look like the cauldron. Could also look like gray concrete powder. Would that work next to that? I'm trying to figure that out. Mm, I think the slate may be too dark. I'm going to take a quick look and then we'll end the episode. Oh my gosh, y'all, that looks so good. <laughs> like you can tell it's a little bit darker, but it honestly works so well that I'm not even worried about it. Now all we have to do is get a little bit of water in here for Humphrey and he is all set. And so now when we get more camels, we will have a place where we can continue to build stalls. Ow, I'm very hungry. <laughs> Humphrey, stop standing on the cauldron. You are not to stand there. And now he's on top of them. Oh dear. <laughs> Well, hmm. once we add a ceiling, he won't be able to do that, I don't think. So I'm not too worried about it. But quit trying to escape, Humphrey. Goodness, I can't believe it took an entire episode just to get that far, but it did. <laughs> Oh, well, I hope either way that you liked it. And if you did, make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already. And jingle that bell to get notifications of when I post Zoo Quest or Planet Zoo or Cattails or Wolf Quest, any of our series that are going on on the channel. And definitely click the follow me link down below so you can follow me on Twitch where I go live every week 
or you can join Discord and chat with me every single day. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you on Monday for more Soup Quest. Bye!